So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you our new Highline 12 mil five pin strip to strip connectors. Um, again, we stock these in IP65 in splash proof or in IP00 in non splash proof. Now remember, the IP rating of your LED strip has to match up with the IP rating of your connectors. For example, IP65 connectors won't work with IP00 rated strips and vice versa. Um, all of these connectors are, um, all of these new types of connectors, they're all high current, uh, about five amps per terminal. They're all really simple to install, as you'll see in this video. Uh, there's absolutely no soldering required. You literally clip it onto the end of the LED tape and you are good to go. Um, remember not to close down the lid until you actually need to. Uh, they can be quite difficult to get off once you've done so. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you the IP65 rated uh, a connector. If I hold them both up to the camera just here, you can see the difference in size. Uh, obviously, the IP65 with a bigger gap for the uh, to fit the silicon so uh, coating on the LED tape. Uh, and the IP001 being thinner, uh, obviously there's no silicon coating on the uh, on the LED on the IP00 LED tape, so it just slots straight in. Now another benefit of these uh, new types of connectors, all the other types of uh, IP65 connectors on the market, you have to peel back the IP65 coating. You can see the silicon just there. Uh, with these ones, you don't need to at all. You literally stick straight in, and it's good to go. I'll show you how to do that just now. So I've cut off uh, two 40 centimeter lengths <clears throat> of our uh, our new um, RGB and warm white 12 mil IP65 tape. This side you've got the uh, the 15 centimeter five core cable, uh, and on that you've got the black for the positive. You've already got the red in there for a color: green, red, blue, and the white. And the other side, absolutely no. Uh, there's no 15 centimeter five core on that side. That's going to go to the other end of our connector. So to do that. Um, you have, uh, you've got to pull the lid up as far as it will possibly go on this side, just like that. Once you've done so, stick the, uh, you're looking to put the RGB, obviously you've got to match up where the, uh, where the plus, the green, the red, the blue and the white go for the other side. So I'm going to stick it in this bit, stick it all the way to the back as far as it will possibly go. Once you've done so, you can start to, uh, to close the lid down. To close the lid down, it might be an idea to use, uh, to use pliers, it'd be quite difficult to, uh, to put on. You can uh, you can hear a little click once you first put it on. So that's that side. Now for the power end again. Open up the lid as far as you possibly can on this side, and you're looking to put the LED tape all the way into the back, uh, so it can clip all the way down. So straight all the way down. And once you're sure it's in there, again begin to close it up. Using pliers just to make sure you've got that connection, and there you have it. Now you can see uh, on some of these uh, on some of these connectors, the a tiny part of the chip might be covered by the uh, by the see-through lid. But obviously, being a see-through lid, that won't make a difference. It will still shine all the way through. So now to test it, I'm sticking uh, 24 volts into this with my uh, with my power. So as I said, positive to the black being the positive on the uh, LED tape, and then we've got green just there i'm going to show you the uh, the connector you can see where it is in the middle got the green got the red again with the connector in the middle just there We've got the blue and i can get it We've got the blue connector just there and finally you've got the warm white as you can see so there you have our new Highline 12mm 5-pin strip-to-strip connectors.